the safest way to vote is to do that by mail. So you can go and check online and see if that's on offer in your state. Only a few states are automatically mailing out ballots to people. So in most cases, you have to apply. But they're removing a lot of the restrictions around who's allowed to request um, a mail vote or an absentee ballot. Um, if you do need to go to the polling place, uh, you can pretend just like you're going to the grocery store. So take all those precautions that you're already taking when you leave the house. So make sure you wash your hands um, before you leave the house, or even better, when you're exiting your car, if you've got some hand sanitizer, wear a mask to make sure you're protecting others. Pay attention to that physical distancing. So keep spacing between you and others who are standing in line. There'll probably be information from um, the voting staff to make sure people are spaced out and not too many people are moving through the polling stations at once. Don't touch your face. Um, you might be interacting with surfaces like shared pens and things like that. And so when you're done at the polling station, go and wash your hands. Some polling stations are handing out individual packs for voters that have a face mask, some hand sanitizer, and their own pen. But that might not be available everywhere. Um, I would also say that you might just want to be careful when you go to vote. So uh, in previous times, you could sort of expect that the polling stations would be a bit uh, quieter and have less uh, foot traffic anywhere from 10 to 11 and sort of 2 to 4. Um, when people are working at home, though, it might change people's uh, patterns of behavior, but you can try to go when um, it is not a peak time.